Have you ever noticed how your cell phone loses its signal from the tower when you are inside an elevator? Or why you're safe inside a car during a lightning storm? Behind this mystery is a powerful piece of physics called the Faraday cage. Today, we'll uncover how it works, the science behind blocking signals, and why it protects us from dangerous electric fields. First, a Faraday cage is simply an enclosure made of conducting material. It could be a wire mesh, a metal shell, or even the walls of your microwave oven. The magic lies in how electric charges redistribute on the surface of a conductor, creating a shield that blocks electric fields and electromagnetic waves from entering. You already experience Faraday cages daily. The metal shell of your car acts as one, keeping you safe when lightning strikes. The shielding on coaxial cables prevents interference, and your phone loses bars in elevators or airplane cabins because the signals can't penetrate the metal enclosure. So, what really happens inside a Faraday cage? Here's where physics takes over. When an external electric field hits a conductor, free electrons move and rearrange themselves. This rearrangement cancels the electric field inside the conductor. Physicists describe this using Gauss's law. Inside a closed conductor, the net electric field is zero. That's why no matter how strong the external field is, the inside remains perfectly shielded. Now let's connect this to signals, Wi-Fi, radio, or mobile networks. These are just electromagnetic waves. Check the I button, how electromagnetic waves travel through space. When they hit a Faraday cage, the oscillating fields cause electrons in the conductor to move in just the right way to cancel the wave inside. This is why your phone goes silent in a cage, or why sensitive electronics are tested inside shielded rooms. Engineers use Faraday cages everywhere. Microwave ovens keep radiation inside. Hospitals shield MRI rooms to prevent radio noise. Even your credit card is safe inside RFID-blocking wallets that act like mini Faraday cages. Of course, no shield is perfect. A cage with tiny holes may still allow some signals through, especially if the wavelength is smaller than the gap. That's why your car may block FM radio poorly, but kill cell signals effectively. The rule is simple. If the holes are smaller than the wavelength, the wave can't get through. So, the next time your phone drops to zero bars in an elevator, or you safely watch a thunderstorm from inside your car, remember, it's not magic, it's physics. The Faraday cage shows us how conductors can manipulate electric fields and waves, keeping the inside perfectly shielded. Physics isn't just theory. It's happening all around us. If you enjoyed exploring the Faraday cage, hit like, subscribe, and join us for more mind-opening explanations on Electroscope.